Um, hello once again I'm youtubers um, today what we're going to be doing is actually an extension to um, the previous simple jQuery pagination plugin that I wrote before and um, since I've been getting a lot of um, requests from people saying that they wanted an extension of the um, series basically what they wanted was um, that when you click on one of these links instead of just taking you to the next um, page or the right page that is um, it also um, persists that it keeps its um, effect that it's having here so basically when number one is clicked they want it to stay as it is so not just when I hover out of it it um, loses focus okay so um, basically that's what we're going to be working on alright so there'll be more tutorials coming on this um, actually same series so um, first thing first let's go ahead and start working okay so inside of our HTML file here let's actually go and uh, start adding more elements to, um, to paginate so since we have um, 17 elements to paginate we'll go ahead and actually add more elements to that okay and um, I'll post a video right now and then I'll type those out so we'll add another 17 that will make it 34 items to paginate so at least we'll have something that's usable in the real world okay so um, now I've typed out everything so we have um, 34 elements there so let's go ahead and refresh and see what we have so now we have 34 elements so we have pagination 1 to 7 so when we click on 7 now we're on the last page okay that's fine so next what we're going to do is we're actually going to add a class to um, custom.js so if you remember custom.js is where we actually um, start typing our um, extension to our pagination function that we call so anytime that we want to override defaults in our plugin we actually uh, um, add those in this function here so what we're going to add is actually uh, an extra item that will be the class for that will be applied to each of these elements when it's clicked so when we click these elements we want to add a class to it so it um, maintains this um, this pagination effect that's having here so okay so let's go back in here and we'll say active we'll just call it um, active um, class and the, the class name that will be is actually also be active class so let's rectify that okay active class so we have this so this will apply to each of the click elements so let's go in our CSS and actually make sure that that class exists so we call active class and since the active class will have the same styling as when the hover um, effect occurs so let me just show you what I mean so basically when we hover over these elements this is the styling that we want to keep there when it's clicked so since this has been already been defined we'll actually just make use of the same styling so when each of the li elements have been hovered over we actually want to copy this and just paste it in active class okay so now that we have a class um, that's defined let's go in our paginate um, function um, file and actually start working there so if you remember this area is where when each of the li we add in click handler to each of the li elements that when they clicked we want to take the user to the right page so we actually want to do extra stuff in there not just take the user to the right page. we actually want to add that class that we just override wrote here and if you remember any um, extra uh, properties that you pass to that function it gets um, stored in settings here so we're receiving it through options parameter and we're storing it in settings so that um, this um, item here active class is um, reachable through these options here and is stored inside of settings so we can um, get to it through the settings there so when each of the li elements been clicked we want to say this and if you remember this means one li element dot add class and the class you want to add is settings dot active class okay and what, what do we want to do we want to add the active class to that click one and we want to remove it from all the siblings and by siblings i mean the neighboring li tags because we, want, we don't want them to all have the same styling okay so we say this dot siblings and when we get the siblings we say remove class okay and what class do we want to remove we want to remove settings dot active class okay all right and um actually i've seen that we have a bit of an inefficiency going on here so instead of calling this all the time which will go to the dom and start querying every time we just store it in dollar sign this and say equals to this just for efficiency and then we'll just call the dollar sign this again okay 
Alright, so let's just do this, this, and one more here. Okay. Alright, so that's done. Let's go back in our browser and refresh and see if that's working. Okay. So we hover over and it's still working. So when we click, it's changing, but it's not um, persisting the design that we wanted. But let's make sure that actually the class is being applied because that's the most important thing right now. So let's click on number one and the class is being applied. If you look at here in um, in Firefox um, Inspector, it says active class, but for some reason it's not applying the style. And the reason for that is active class has second priority to the li element selector because we're selecting through pagination which is this container and li and that has precedence over just active class so the way we force active class to have precedence that is it's um items here we say um we come to our style of css and wherever we have active class we each of the properties there we say bang and we say important this is just a css um, styling that forces items to have precedence if they've been overwritten for some reason so we have we add important in front of every one of them so if we come back in our browser here if we refresh and now let's click on these elements and see if it will persist so yes it has persisted so the each of the elements when click now they we are shown wherever we are in the first one as well okay that's um that's done so but just one more thing remaining guys if you realize that I just refreshed the page and we've lost the styling and actually that's right except for one thing that we want the styling by default to be applied to the first li element here that is the first link so how we do that is we're actually going to tell jQuery whenever you load search for the first one and then apply that active class to it okay so back in our um, JavaScript let's do something here so is in this um, selector here we're selecting all the elements and then we're saying on click that is if one of them is clicked add um, uh, click event handler to them but before we do that we're actually going to say first sorry we target the first li element and we say add class uh, which class do we want to add is settings dot active class okay and after we've selected that we want to go back and select all the elements and then add an event handler to them okay so this here is giving us um, this first here is giving us the first element and we're adding a class to it and then when we come to, before we add an on click event handler we want to go back uh, to this selector set here that's why we're doing that end and then we're doing normally what we did before so this end here just um, makes it look like this whole thing that I've selected wasn't there when I say end, this is what we get, okay? All right, so that's how just jQuery just works. So let's go back in our browser and refresh and see if everything's fine. So we've refreshed and everything seems to be fine. And when we click on second link, third link, fourth link, fifth, sixth, and seventh, it's persisting this style here. Okay, all right. Uh, that was a quick one, guys. And um, that's it for this tutorial. And if you um, see anything else you want to add it to this series, just let me know and um, I'll work on that. Alright, so thanks for watching anyways guys, once again, and um, please rate and subscribe and tweet, do whatever you want, just to help out, it really does help, and um, I'll see you in the next tutorial, alright, thanks for watching, bye.